All right, for those who are new, my name is Trey Herrera, and what we are doing today is we are gonna be testing out these new Kenda tires, and um, pretty much, they're supposed to be competition for the R888s, um, which I originally wanted for my GTO here, so these ones were much cheaper, and I had a handful of friends who were like, yeah, these, these work really good for me, so you should definitely try them out. They're not gonna break the bank much like the R888s do, so. We're gonna try them out, so that's what we're doing today. So the reason behind these tires is I wanted something a little bit more of a soft compound for the street, and I also wanted a little bit more suspension clearance so I could drop the car down a little bit. So um, the current tire on the car is a Achilles ATR Sport 2. Not a bad tire whatsoever, um, but the sidewall is a 40, and I am dropping down to a 35 profile on the tire here. So. On the Kendas here, they are a 275, 35, 18, and on the Achilles, I have a 275, 40, 18, so it sits a little bit taller, and um, yeah, so I'm, I am gonna run the car a bit lower than before. As, I, as a lot of you guys know who follow my channel, um, trying to do a little bit more street style stuff, and I will not, I don't want to adjust the suspension all the time. I like a certain look and that's what we're gonna go for. First things first is I gotta get these wheels off and we're gonna switch tires over. We're gonna adjust the suspension down probably about an inch or so and then we're gonna go test these things out. All right, so funny part about today is I just realized that the compressor is at a job site and we don't have the compressor here. So what I'm gonna have to do is load these into my wife's car and then take them to the gas station, fill them up, and then bring them back to, to be mounted. So um, it is gonna be a bit of a funny, funny scenario, but it's gonna work out, no worries. Or I forgot, I do have the candy van here. We'll load them in the candy van and then we'll take them and then fill them up with some air. So it's not a big deal, but <laughs> it's super funny. All right guys, so here's the rating. You guys see that? Treadwear 180, traction, double A, which is awesome. Temperature was A, which is awesome. Um, almost identical to the R888s as for tire rating. And uh, these should hook up pretty well on the street. Since I was running slicks for the drag strip, um, there were non, DOT rated slicks, they are bias plies, and it would sway really, really bad. I hated driving them, and you don't get a lot of use out of them. So I figured best bet would to be a very, very good street rated tire. Um, so that's what I did. Instead of doing the Mickey Thompsons, because the Mickey Thompsons come in a slightly bigger profile than I wanted, I decided to give these a go. Uh, since I do not, I do a whole lot more street driving than I do racing i figured i would give these ones a try and see how it goes from there so these ones will allow me to run the car a bit lower like i like it uh, quick note the keelys were a really good tire as well um the profile is a little bit taller this is the main reason i'm switching them out and um the tread rating is hard so this one has a 400 tread rating which makes it a lot harder rubber um, and that was mainly so they last a long time. That's the that's the main difference between these. Um, this one's an all season tire, as you guys could see. Other than that, like no complaints whatsoever with these guys. Just just want something a little stickier, a little bit softer compound. All right, all right, all right, all right. We back, we back. So I was planning on <laughs> doing this review on my tires, on these new tires, and. It started snowing, as you guys can see. Typical Colorado, we had literally 90, 90 degree weather yesterday. And then today. All right guys, so not exactly the review I was hoping for. The streets look fairly dry, so <laughs> here we go. so good um, they don't feel too slick I mean I haven't really got on it yet but you guys know how street tires are on wet ground or at least like lower softer compound tires are on wet ground so we'll kind of see we'll get into it very very lightly here um, obviously the roads are wet so I'm not trying to do real real pulls right now but we are trying to test these out because uh wet <laughs> wet roads do matter <laughs> I 
Guys, so we're we are driving. It's finally a little bit dry out. Um, I've already done a couple test hits, and they definitely since it's colder, since it's colder, the the rubber is a little bit harder, so it does want to break loose a bit. But um, I can definitely feel it wants to push me forward a lot better than my Achilles tires. It definitely pushes you forward like they're not really even warmed up or anything so they're doing well um, they not gonna lie they kind of feel like how my Mickey Thompson's felt when I had uh, the ET streets um, but with the with the more stability because the ET streets you had to run them a little bit lower PSI or whatever these ones are definitely a street tire they're on my 18s a little bit lower profile so I definitely have a lot more traction going forward and a stiffer sidewall. So the whole idea for me on these were a really grippy tire for the street that I didn't have to adjust my suspension all the time for. I know I said that like 80 times, but just kind of had to reiterate. You definitely gotta need a sticky tire for it to get into boost a little bit better. Um, if you're breaking loose a lot, you know, you're not really feeling the full potential of your turbo setup. So far, so good. Uh, I have to definitely test them out a little bit more. Obviously, once the once the weather gets a little better, today it's like 40 degrees here. As you can see, like it was snowy earlier in the day. So it, you know you're not gonna get full traction on a cold day like like you would in a 70 or 80 degree weather day. loose and it would like to fishtail out a little bit and um, these didn't do that that wasn't full boost either I'm sure on full boost and, you know, they'll probably get overpowered by boost but at least for the most part they're they're holding traction really well so just in case you thought I was playing about it being cold look I got my, my work jacket on my beanie I got my do-rag you know <laughs> Also, the, the ride quality is not terrible either for how hard the sidewall is. Um, they're real quiet on the street. And uh, yeah, I, I can't really complain too much. So I got a little unwrap. We'll give you a light hit. Um, never full bore just because the weather is, like I said, it's cold. Tires don't react the same in the cold versus the warm. so. Like I said, just light hit. And we get out of it. We just cruise the rest of the way to my boy Steven's house. And that's we'll give you another solid review um, once the weather is better. Once the weather's a lot warmer. these tires they're extremely smooth the road noise is not very obvious at all um, the only thing I would do um, if you guys are gonna buy these tires is especially if you're a higher horsepower build much like I am um, 
run lower than what it suggests for the PSI. Um, right now, I did raise them up a little bit for just to test them out and see how I like them. Um, but it makes the tire a bit hard um, when you're running 40 PSI. So definitely, I would, I would personally say run them around 20, 25 PSI and you should be golden. But they hook up well. Um, I'm gonna definitely test them out again. So I'll have a, a, a second video on this when it's warm out. And uh, once I get an alignment done on this car, because I did just lower it down, and um, we'll try it again. Time for games and it's the time to kill. Make up your mind, baby, cause the time is here.